Do you know how many calories you should be eating to lose weight? In this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna explain to you. Welcome back, my name is Luke Ringel, and throughout this video I'm gonna share with you how many calories you should be eating to lose weight and how to know how much calories you're actually eating. Which is extremely important because I have to tell you this story. So when I had a coach, I used to go to the Starbucks. It's my wife's fault, I promise. And I used to always get this tea that had 30 grams of sugar in it. I used to get this one or two times a week and so I asked my coach, I said, coach, I normally get this drink, it has about 30 grams of sugar. How bad is this really for my physique, health, all of this stuff, right? And like any good coach, he didn't tell me, he asked me a question. He said, well, why do you think sugar is bad? And when he asked me this, I was actually pretty stunned. I was like, is sugar bad for me or is that just something that society has told me over time? And then I thought about it, I'm like, nope, it's like we shouldn't have that much sugar. And so I told him, I said, you know what? I'd probably just give you the Google answer. Like it's bad for my cholesterol, heart, like makes you fat, blah, blah, right? And he said, look, he said, everybody is so worried about sugar or they're so worried about the next thing, yet nobody even knows how many calories they're actually eating. So what I wanna teach you right now is how to know how many calories you're eating. And then after, I'm gonna share with you how you can customize your calories so you can lose weight. All right, so what you're seeing right now is the MyFitnessPal app. I'll put a link down below if you don't have this app. It's 100% free, and it's really easy to track how many calories you're actually eating. Now, you don't have to track your calories the rest of your life, but I highly, highly recommend it, doing it for a couple weeks or a couple months until you realize how many calories you're truly eating and what a proper portion size is. All right, so to know how many calories you're eating, all you have to do, there's the bottom plus sign, and you could just go ahead and add food. And you could choose breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, uh, whatever it is that you're eating. And the cool thing, as you can see, with my fitness pal, if you can, if you eat after you enter something, it kind of gives you suggestions of what you normally eat for breakfast. And it's really easy and it makes this really fast. Um, but I'll act like a brand new person. So let's say for breakfast, I'm gonna have some eggs and some oatmeal, right? And so I'm gonna just type, all you have to do is type in eggs. And it gives you a bunch of options, pretty much egg, an egg is an egg. Uh, as you can see, they're all pretty around the same amount of calories. So I'm just gonna choose uh, Kirkland. I think that's the Costco brand of eggs. And you just, so it has the serving size. So how many servings? So right now, the only serving size option that it gives us is uh, one egg. And then you just put how many eggs that you have. Let's say I had three eggs, right? I'm gonna enter that in. And now I also had some oatmeal. So I'm gonna type in uh, rolled oats, Quaker rolled oats. That's usually the one I get. And again, you go to serving size, how many serving size. So I typically like to measure everything in grams. So when you uh, put your food into my fitness pal, you're gonna to have to weigh it on a food scale. Just find a cheap one. Mine usually costs like $12 on Amazon. And so I put everything in one gram. So what I do is I put my bowl on the food scale, I zeroed out, so it says zero, and then I just pour oatmeal in there until that's how much I want, right? So one serving size is 40 grams for the oatmeal I have, and with that, I'll just keep pouring it until it says 40 grams, okay? And so I just put one serving of 40 grams, and bada beam, bada boom, uh, there's my breakfast. So automatically, it tells you, it calculates for you how many calories. So my breakfast, if I go to my diary, is 360 calories if I have three eggs and some oatmeal, right? Now let's say I want some with my eggs, I also have some cheese, right? Uh, this is usually the cheese that I get. One serving of this is 28 grams. I'm having one serving of it and I'll add that to it. So that just kind of moves my breakfast up to 470 calories. So this is a great tool to see what, how many calories something actually has in it. Uh, most of the time when my clients just use this, they lose weight the first week because they'll type something in and they're like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't eat this, <laughs> right? All right, so there's my breakfast. Now it's lunchtime. Let's say we have a turkey sandwich, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna enter everything individually. So I'm gonna go to turkey. 
turkey slices, I guess. And I'm gonna have four four things of tur four slices of turkey. So the cool thing with this as well, so look, if you didn't know, like turkey slices, zero fat, zero carbs, and has 21 grams of protein. This is a great snack, even if it has bread with it. And then I'm gonna have some bread. So I think at home I usually have the honey wheat right here, and I'll have two slices. And then usually for my stuff, I'll put like, I could put a tomato, um, anything like that. Usually when I have just small amount of vegetables, I usually don't enter it because as you can see, there's like really no calories in it. So like one large tomato is 33 calories. So like a slice of it is probably like two calories, right? So I don't really enter it. Um, the only other thing I really put on my sandwiches is mustard, which has no calories. So if something doesn't have calories in it, don't worry about entering it. But if it does, by all means, like if you're going to have, let's say you put mayonnaise, right? Most people have mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Uh, one teaspoon of mayonnaise. There we go. All right. And so my lunch is about 291 calories. All right. And then let's just go to dinner. And let's say I'll have some chicken. Everyone eats chicken for dinner, right? Some chicken. Uh, chicken breast. So again, I so I'll, most people do ounces. So again, I'll put my plate on the food scale, zero it out. I'll put a piece of chicken on there, and let's say it says four ounces of chicken, and then I want some. I'm having just chicken and rice, good old chicken and rice. Same thing. My plate is still on there. So now, if you're looking at your table, you have. Uh, the food scale, you have your plate on the food scale, you have the chicken on that plate still already. Now all you have to do is zero out the food scale and then put the rice on. So it takes zero extra work at all. It takes one push of a button. That's the only extra work that it takes to actually weigh your food. It gets in a lot of people's minds that it's a lot of effort, but it's really not. And so let's say we have 100 grams of rice, which is usually about half a cup, all right? So, and let's say that's everything I eat. Um, so now I got my eggs for breakfast, I got my sandwich for lunch, and I have chicken for uh, dinner. Now, obviously, I'm going to eat a lot more than this. I usually have 2,500 calories. Um, for females, just you should be, I'll give you an average, like maybe like around 1,500 calories. But again, don't listen to my fitness pal. Don't listen to what I just said. Uh, just track what you normally eat. Uh, the other thing with this is, Anything you drink that has calories, make sure you're putting it in this as well. That helped me a lot because I would look at something and just like the Starbucks uh, story that I told you earlier, like it had 30 grams of carbs, which is like 115, 120 calories. Like, do I want to drink 120 calories or would I want to eat 120 calories? And I always choose eat. Uh, so this is exactly how you can see how many calories that you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis. Welcome back. That's a pretty awesome app, right? It's so easy to use and it's free. So now to know exactly how many calories you should be eating, again, do not listen to the app because it's just a computer telling you. I want you to use the human brain and actually customize the program for yourself. And so to do this, the first thing we need is data. When my clients start this, I don't tell them to go on diets. I don't tell them to eat less. I don't tell them anything. All I tell them is eat like you normally eat. All I want you to do is track it. And by doing this, not only are you going to be able to lose weight in the future, but you're going to be able to lose weight and join the foods that you actually eat. So what I want you to do for seven days is eat how you normally eat. The two things that I say not to do, do not eat out for this week and do not drink alcohol. I promise you, watch my other videos, I'm gonna show you how to eat out and how to drink alcohol to lose weight, but the first seven days, just don't do it. Our goal with this is to see exactly what calories do to our bodies. And if we eat out, we never truly know how many calories is in the food. And if we drink, that just does a bunch of weird stuff to our body. So for seven days, just track your food and get your weight every single day. And now at the end of seven days, you're going to see how many calories you ate and what it did to your weight. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, sometimes you might lose five pounds the first week, sometimes you might not lose any, but that's not the goal of the first week. The first week is just collecting data. 
And now that you have seven days, what I want you to do is find the average of how many calories you ate. So if, for example, if some days you ate 1,200 and other days you ate 1,800, then your average is around 1,500. And now for the next seven days, what I want you to do is consistently eat 1,500 calories every single day. Now, if you didn't lose weight the first week, I promise you, you're going to lose weight this week. When our body consistently gets the same type of nutrients and food in every single day, it can work better and drop the weight that it doesn't need. And now you have a great starting line of how many calories you should be eating. And so if you're losing weight at the calories you're, you're at and you're not feeling hungry, you could stay right there. But if you're losing weight and you're feeling hungry, go ahead and raise the calories just by 50 calories. Do that for one week, see how you feel. If you're still losing weight, go ahead and raise it another 50 calories. I promise you, you're gonna be so surprised on how much you could actually eat and still lose weight. But the goal is consistency. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the other videos within the series. And if you would love for me to personally help you over 21 days, I created Blast the Fat Challenge where over 21 days I will help you customize your nutrition plan and help you eat whatever you want and still lose weight. All you have to do is click down below and there's a sign up link down below. And again, my name is Luke Rangel. Just always remember, you are only one decision away.